Hi guys, welcome to Animal Wonders. This is the food prep room, and we usually film here because it has some awesome natural light, and I just really like the color of this wall. Except right here, where the paint has been so horrendously ripped off. That's my son's doing, and I could easily fix it, but honestly, there are more important things to worry about. Like, what are all these foods, and who eats them? for asking this question. We always see these foods in the videos and I thought it'd be fun to see who they all belong to. All right, we'll start with the bottom here. These are the grass pellets and they're each a little bit different. This one belongs to the cavies and that includes chili pepper, the Patagonian cavy, and the guinea pigs, olive, pickles, and cheddar. They eat their pellets pretty well, but they actually prefer their fresh produce. The pellets are just there to make the base of their diet and provide fiber to keep things moving through. This one over here is for our rabbit cheeks. He likes his pellets quite a bit, but he's always looking for a little extra treat on top. How about a little bit of lettuce today? And these pellets in the middle are for our chinchilla Cheerio. They contain more protein than the other two pellets and they would not be good for rabbits or cavies. Cheerio eats mostly just her pellets and some Timothy hay because she has a very sensitive digestive system and we want to make sure that it continues to work smoothly. And moving up to the next shelf, we have our insectivore diet. This is a great product that Missouri puts out and it contains a lot of protein for our insect loving friends. We use this across the board as our base for all all of our insectivores, which includes Prickle the Hedgehog, Gaia the Armadillo, and Gizmo and Gadget the Sugar Gliders. They each get their nutritional needs met by specific fresh foods, but the dry formulated diet is a perfect base. All right, this one is my favorite. These are called monkey biscuits, and yes, they are formulated for a primate, but we don't use them for a monkey. Instead, we combine the monkey biscuits with these to make a great mix of nutrients for our Coendu better known as a prehensile tail porcupine. We soak the monkey biscuits and then we crush the lab chow, also known as rodent blocks. We mix these two together along with cooked vegetables and banana. And this provides Kimosabi, our prehensile tail porcupine, with a nutritious meal that's softened so he can eat it with his special teeth. And up here we have Happy Hopper, which is a specially formulated diet made specifically for kangaroos. We feed this to our little gal Sydney, the brush tail batong, who is kind of like a tiny kangaroo. We also have many more dry diets that you can't in this cupboard right here, including our parrot pellets, which you guess it, go to our parrots. Our dove pellets, which go to our ringneck doves, and these large nuts go to Joy, our macaw. The small seed mix, which goes to our budgerigar and Euromastix lizard. The small parrot pellets, which go to our small parrots, and the tortoise pellets, which go to our tortoises, yucca and titus. We also have our fridge that's full of fresh and frozen foods that keep our animals happy and healthy. I hope you guys enjoyed our food tour today. If you'd like to go on an adventure with us every week, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Animal Wonders Montana. If you have any questions for me, you can leave them in the comments below. We'll see you next week. And interestingly, captive bred budgies are larger than their wild counterparts. And there's an English variety that's much larger than the more common American variety.